Dear Chairman, dear participants, your attention is invited to a report on a topic dendritic artificial immune network model for computing. This work was carried out by employees of the Hacker National University of Radio Electronics. This paper presents the results of uh, constructing a dendritic uh, artificial immune network model using graph theory. The content of the work is given on this slide. The theory of artificial immune systems uh, is one of the directions in the organization of uh, artificial intelligence systems. Uh, to date, there are several common artificial immune system models uh, shown on this slide, which are used to solve various practical problems. A. Negative positive selection model. B. Clonal selection model. C. Artificial immune network model. These models differ from each other in the ways of editing the antibody populations, ways of organizing immune operations, and the possibilities of interaction between immune objects. Among the immune models, the most promising for practical application is the immune network model, since it involves organizing in the interaction not only of antibody and antigen populations, but also the interaction of antibodies within the same population. Existing models of immune networks have a number of disadvantages, the main of which are low speed and relatively low accuracy, uh, which uh, manifests itself, for example, in solving problems of classification, question, and pattern recognition. In Accordance uh, with this, the paper sets the task of constructing a three-type immune network model that will allow solving the problem of increasing performance, ensuring uh, acceptance uh, accuracy of the results, and uh, reducing the complexity of the process of forming a network of antibodies uh, and recognition errors. We will consider the construction of a three structure of the immune network using the example of solving the problem of data clustering. In the theory of the artificial immune systems, the concept of affinity used to measure um, that determines uh, the strength of the connection or similarly between the antibodies of the artificial immune network, uh, shown on the slide, where D uh, is the Euclidean or Manhattan distance between the features of the E's and G's immune objects. As the criterion that regulates the number of affinity bounds between antibodies, the national natural affinity threshold not used uh, as value, uh, which is an average affinity between all antibodies in the population. In this proposed uh, to form a K-connected graph of antibodies, the process of forming a, a three-like structure of immune network is multi-stage. As the first stage, the antibody network is formed as graph, uh, where each vertex connected to all other vertexes uh, of this graph. As shown on this slide. The process of forming a network of antibodies is the process of optimizing a fully connected graph of objects. The vertices uh, of which are antibodies and the edges are the affinities between them. Optimization refers to the reduction of the number of bonds between antibodies uh, for which the NAT is used. Reduction of the number of connections between antibodies occurs due to the removal of connections characterized by minimum values of affinities. Each antibody can create no more than k links with other antibodies in the network, uh, as the links are moved. This idea is borrowed from the classification algorithm k nearest neighbors, k and n. This slide shows the dendritic k-connected network of antibodies with parameter k equals 3, which can vary in the range from two to many connections. Thus, by reducing the number of connections between antibodies in the network for the individual graphs with complete connections between objects, a dendritic structure of the antibody network is formed, in which cluster centers are subsequently selected. At the second stage, after the formation of a K-connected network of antibodies, the law of stimulation of each antibody is calculated based on its affinity with other immune objects forming the network based on the value of the level of antibody stimulation. The candidates for the centers of the clusters are determined, which are shown on this slide, with value verticals and a dark gray outline. From all the candidate antibodies, the antibody characterized by the maximum number of connections with other antibodies in the, of the network and the maximum level of stimulation is selected for the center of the clusters. The objects selected for the center of the format clusters are marked in green, uh, shown in this slide. It should be noted uh, that in this case of the formation of two clusters, it is expected that in the clustering process. 
At the first stage, after the distribution of the centers of the cluster, the process of determining the affiliation of the antibodies of the immune system to them takes place. First, immune objects are clustered, uh, which are characterized by a strong affinity connection with antibodies, which are the centers of the clusters. Next, to carry out clustering uh, of other antibodies, the affinities to each of the clusters and the antibodies are determined. The definition of affinity is based on the affinity and affinity between immune objects and reflects on the level of strength uh, of the immune connection between the objects of the cluster and the antibody. Cluster center antibodies are marked in green, antibodies associated with two different cluster centers are marked in blue and yellow, and the rest of the antibodies are shown in white-gray. In the fifth stage, clustering uh, of other objects occur by triggering immune processes uh, of three like immune network of antibodies thanks to uh, the operation of cloning, mutation, and the, the use of uh, suppression of clones and uh, the network of antibodies that do not belong to any cluster. This slide shows the result of artificial immune tree network clustering of antibodies distributed between two different clusters. Uh, thus, the process of object clustering based on the DayNet immune model can be represented as a sequence of following stages shown on this slide. Accordingly, at the level of immune operations, the DayNet method is represented by the implementation of the relevant stage presented on this slide, namely the stage of preparation for clustering, the stage aimed to at the formation of K-connected immune network, and the stage of network interaction. A comparative analysis of the proposed clustering method, which are the data grouping methods, CMINS and MST, um, and existing immune models, CLANG and AINet, uh, was performed on three sets of objects. Uh, when comparing two main uh, metrics, we used T, time spent uh, the clustering algorithm on grouping objects A, is the accuracy of clustering, the results of the comparison which are shown on this slide, showed that the C-means algorithm is characterized by maximum accuracy of object grouping and Clang algorithm was the worst performance. The MST method of characterized uh, by the best speed, uh, but significantly inferior to other methods in terms of grouping accuracy. The proposed DayNet method is characterized by high accuracy of data grouping. It outperforms the C-means method in terms of speed, but in the, it is inferior only to the MST method in terms of this indicator. Uh, the DayNet methods outperforms uh, other immune methods, both in terms of speed and object grouping accuracy, that makes this method the most adapted to the organization of calculations based on the immune approach. In general, conclusions are shown on these slides. The report is finished. Thank you for your attention.